It's finally here. Tesla's $20,000 Model 2 just shattered everything we thought we knew about budget EVs. An 800,000-mile battery lifespan that'll outlive three gas cars. Charging at a mind-bending 280 kilowatts in the new V4 superchargers. But here's the part that's keeping engineers up at night. How did Tesla cram semi-solid battery tech, something that was supposed to stay in luxury models for years, into a car this cheap? What did they discover that makes this economically possible right now? Let's dive right in. The answer lies 160 pounds beneath your feet. Tesla just achieved what battery scientists said wouldn't happen until 2028. Mass-producing semi-solid batteries for a car that costs less than a used Honda Accord. This isn't incremental improvement. This is fundamental restructuring of how EVs store energy. Traditional lithium-ion batteries use liquid electrolytes that require elaborate cooling systems and heavy protective casings. The Model 2's semi-solid cells replace that with a ceramic core compound, delivering 220 to 245 watt-hours per kilogram. The immediate benefit, 160 pounds lighter than conventional packs, while maintaining the full 275 to 310 mile EPA range. What the spec sheets won't tell you is what happened during 2025 testing. South Korean and Japanese suppliers punctured these cells, heated them beyond 480 degrees Fahrenheit, and subjected them to extreme impact forces. The semi-solid cells refused to ignite. Compare that to the dozens of EV fires from traditional batteries. Insurance companies are watching closely. Early indications suggest premiums for Model 2 owners could drop 15 to 20 percent based purely on reduced fire risk. The longevity numbers are genuinely disruptive. These cells handle 4,000 to 5,000 complete charge cycles before degrading to 80% capacity. That's over 800,000 miles of actual driving. The average American drives 13,500 miles annually, meaning this battery will outlast 60 years of normal use. Your typical gas engine dies around 200,000 miles. We're looking at a battery that outlives three complete combustion vehicles. This creates an economic ripple effect. The used EV market has been strangled by battery degradation fears. A five-year-old Nissan Leaf loses 40% of its value because buyers worry about replacements. The Model 2 inverts this completely. You've got a $20,000 vehicle with a powertrain guaranteed to outlast any combustion engine ever mass-produced. The entire automotive financing model just encountered a variable it doesn't know how to price. Because semi-solid electrolytes don't swell under thermal stress, Tesla unlocked charging rates budget EVs couldn't approach before. At V3 superchargers, 240 kilowatt peak. At new V4 stations, 280 kilowatts at optimal temperature. That's 10 to 70% charge in 12 to 14 minutes. Most affordable EVs, Chevy Bolt, Nissan Leaf, tap out around 50 to 100 kilowatts and throttle down to prevent overheating. A Honda Civic fills its tank in four minutes, giving 400 miles for $45. The Model 2 delivers 180 miles in the same time frame at a V4 supercharger for $6. The convenience gap just collapsed. But there's strategic depth here. Tesla's building V4 superchargers specifically optimized for this vehicle. They're not retrofitting old infrastructure. They're engineering the charging experience around the Model 2's capabilities. Ford and GM are stuck negotiating with third-party networks serving multiple brands with different charging profiles. Tesla engineered something dangerous to competitors, a motor optimized for efficiency over specifications. Power output, 110 to 140 kilowatts. 
0 to 60, in 6.2 to 6.8 seconds. A 2026 Honda Civic does it in 8.1 seconds. Toyota Corolla, 8.3 seconds. Nissan Sentra, 9.2 seconds. The Model 2 is embarrassingly quicker while consuming just 220 to 240 watt-hours per mile. The efficiency comes from redesigned stator windings with tighter coils and specialized lamination reducing eddy current losses. Less energy wasted as heat, more converted to motion. Combined with the semi-solid battery's low internal resistance, real-world efficiency consistently exceeds EPA estimates. Early owners report 250-plus highway miles, where competitors struggle to hit 200. Here's what should terrify Detroit. Tesla eliminated 18 to 22 pounds of copper per motor through denser wiring. Copper prices tripled since 2020. That saves $180 per vehicle in materials while improving performance. Ford spent millions reducing copper by 5%. Tesla cut 40% and improved output. The modified skew rotor design eliminates the high-pitched whine older Teslas make at 40 to 55 miles per hour. The cabin stays library quiet. This motor runs 600,000 miles without major maintenance. Contrast that with combustion engines needing constant servicing. Tesla rethought how affordable cars get built. The transverse structural beam replaces heavy multi-layer panels, cutting 14 to 19 pounds while increasing front legroom. By using the battery pack as a structural element, they freed up space traditionally consumed by support frames. The 10.5 to 11-inch screen runs on new AMD hardware, delivering 35% faster response while using less power. In EVs, every watt matters. Optimizing the infotainment system saves two to three miles per charge. Across millions of vehicles, that's massive energy savings. The controversial move, eliminating gear stocks, touch-sensitive zones and predictive selection analyzing terrain and driver habits, replace them. Every mechanical linkage is a failure point. Eliminating stocks cuts assembly time by 40 to 55 seconds per vehicle. Across million unit production, that's 11,000 labor hours saved, lowering retail price. Modern aircraft use drive-by wire for critical functions. The real question isn't technical capability, it's consumer psychology. Tesla's betting younger buyers who grew up with touchscreens will adapt. The resistance might be generational, not technical. Traditional EVs lose 40 to 50% range in freezing weather. The Model 2's miniaturized heat pump operates 14% more efficiently than previous Tesla systems. Winter range loss drops from 70 miles to just 25 to 35 miles. That's the difference between unusable in winter and works year-round. The northern U.S. and Canada represent 45% of the North American market. Every major automaker surrendered cold-weather EV sales because vehicles become impractical below freezing. Tesla just claimed that entire segment through superior thermal management. The heat pump also preconditions the battery while plugged in, warming it to optimal temperature. This prevents the efficiency nosedive from starting with a cold battery. The difference between 220 and 350 watt-hours per mile in the first 10 minutes. Over winter, that saves 500 to 700 miles of range. Tesla's finally acknowledging most consumers don't want full self-driving. They want competent driver assistance without a $12,000 price tag. The Daily Driver Pack delivers lane centering, intelligent adaptive cruise, and semi-automated highway passing. No robo-taxi promises, just practical features for $2,000 to $3,000. New RGB IR sensors track driver attention without annoying infrared lights. The system detects drowsiness before you drift lanes. NHTSA mandates this in 2026. 
Tesla converted regulatory compliance into a sellable feature, while competitors scrambled to meet minimums. Ford's Blue Cruise costs $2,100 plus $75 monthly. GM's Super Cruise requires $2,500. Tesla's undercutting both without subscriptions. The monthly fee model might be dying faster than anticipated. This isn't about affordable EVs. Tesla already did that. This is making EVs economically superior to gas cars across every category. Purchase price, operating costs, maintenance, longevity, resale value. The 800,000-mile battery creates a secondary market that didn't exist. Imagine buying a 10-year-old Model 2 with 135,000 miles for $8,000. Knowing the battery has 650,000 miles remaining, that's a legitimate alternative to buying new gas compacts. The used car market just got invaded by EVs that don't degrade. The timing is brutal. Ford and GM committed billions to platforms using traditional batteries. Those platforms are obsolete before production. They can't match the Model 2's specs. Legacy manufacturers are locked into inferior technology because retooling requires tens of billions more. Tesla weaponized their supercharger network. V4 stations give Model 2 owners infrastructure advantages competitors can't match. Ford's EVs charge slower on identical equipment. The network becomes a moat deepening with every station built. If Tesla profits at $20,000, what are margins on the $80,000 Model S? The vertical integration creates cost advantages traditional automakers can't replicate without destroying their business models completely. We're watching the automotive industry's Kodak moment. The technology gap isn't incremental, it's generational. And this one's priced for mass adoption. The Model 2 doesn't compete with the Civic and Corolla. It makes them obsolete. So here's the answer to that question we started with. Why can Tesla suddenly offer this at $20,000? Because they finally solved the manufacturing cost equation on semi-solid batteries. What cost $400 per kilowatt hour two years ago just dropped below $80. That's the breakthrough competitors can't replicate without rebuilding their entire supply chain. This forces every automaker to answer one question. If Tesla delivers 800,000-mile batteries at this price, what's your excuse? Ford and GM just committed billions to platforms that are obsolete before production starts. They can't match these specs without starting over. And starting over means another five years minimum. We're not watching gradual EV adoption anymore. We're watching the tipping point happen in real time. When electric becomes cheaper up front and dramatically cheaper long term, the transition goes exponential. The question isn't if gas cars disappear, it's how fast. What happens next? Tesla's already testing next generation cells targeting 300 watt hours per kilogram by 2027. That pushes range beyond 400 miles in compact vehicles. The revolution isn't coming. It's here. Here's what I want to know. Do you think legacy automakers can catch up? Or is this game over? Drop your analysis in the comments below. This is Tech Revolution. And if you want more deep dive analysis on the technology actually reshaping our world, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming next. And if this breakdown added value, leave a like. It genuinely helps us reach more people who care about this stuff. The future of transportation just became affordable. And that changes everything.